Since the United States revised its chip rules, Morris Chan has opposed the actions of the United States in various interviews. For example, he said that the United States advocates free trade, but continues to increase rules on chip trade, which is not a good thing. The United States requires more chips to be produced locally. Morris Chang publicly stood up and opposed chip self-sufficiency, saying that the United States has invested more than 50 billion US dollars, and it is impossible to create a complete chip industry chain. He said TSMC will fail to build factories in the United States. But no one expected that Morris Chang, who had always opposed TSMC to build a factory in the United States, would change his attitude so suddenly. Recently, Morris Chang suddenly stated that TSMC will build more factories in the United States. After 5 nanometers, there will be 3 nanometers chips, and 50% of its production capacity will be transferred to the United States. In addition, TSMC has already started to charter flights to transport some employees to the Phoenix factory. In the future, there will be more charter flights to transport more technical employees and precision equipment to the U.S. factory. In this regard, some media said that Morris Chang took off his mask, and TSMC also officially took action. It will not only expand the scale of building factories in the United States, increase the monthly production capacity of 5 nanometers chips from 20,000 to 22,000 pieces, but also invest more than 1 billion US dollars in the construction of high-end wafer factories. In my opinion, TSMC's recent actions mean that Huawei CEO Ren Jingfei was right in the first place. Why is that? Hi. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. After the chip rules were revised, Ren Jingfei set the goal of surviving and asked Huawei to be self sufficient in chips. Subsequently, Huawei entered the field of chip semiconductors in an all-round way, and also achieved breakthroughs in terminal manufacturing and new materials, and invested in China's chip industry chain through Hubble, and cooperated with Chinese manufacturers to make breakthroughs. This means that Ren Jingfei of Huawei has already understood that self-developed chips must be produced by Huawei itself, or handed over to Chinese manufacturers for production and manufacturing, and can no longer be handed over to American technology companies such as TSMC. Huawei executives said that in the next three to five years, there will inevitably be a chip industry chain with non-US technology. Huawei will definitely solve the chip problem, because the chip problem is a matter of time, funding and technology. For now, Huawei has made many breakthroughs in chips. For example, Huawei has announced multiple stacking technology chip patents, mainly related to chip splicing methods, power consumption, etc. In addition, Huawei will use chips of this technology to solve the problem of high-performance chips. In addition, Huawei also announced a new quantum chip patent, which shows that Huawei is also continuing to invest in quantum chips. At the same time, Huawei is still in the leading position in the field of optoelectronic chips, leading more manufacturers to enter the field of optoelectronic chips. The most important thing is that Huawei has also cooperated with the Chinese industrial chain to make chip breakthroughs, mainly focusing on 5G radio frequency chips, lithography machine-related technologies, and EDA software. According to the news, China's domestic EDA software can already be used for 14 nanometers chips, and domestic CPU and 5G chips have also made breakthroughs. Even in terms of lithography machine technology, Chinese manufacturers and scientific research institutions have also achieved a number of technological achievements. To sum up, Huawei is self-developing more types of chips to meet chip needs in different scenarios and periods. At the same time, Huawei is also making joint breakthroughs with China's chip industry chain. In these aspects, Huawei has achieved very good results. Don't put your own destiny in the hands of others, so Ren Jingfei was right from the beginning. Now, let's take a look at TSMC's situation. Well, knowing the consequences of moving to the United States, why did TSMC's top management insist on relocating? Are they really all fools? In fact, TSMC's investment and construction of a factory in Phoenix is an administrative requirement issued by Trump to TSMC during his tenure. 
In addition, the U.S. government also introduced the CHIP and Science Act in August, further forcing semiconductor companies to transfer to the United States. After all, Morris Chang is a businessman, and he knows the fate of TSMC has long been in the hands of the United States. The construction of the factory started in June 2021, and it is planned to install the equipment in 2023 and mass-produce in the first half of 2024. Morris Chan has complained more than once that the high cost of manufacturing chips in the United States is almost 50% higher. This will greatly weaken the market competitiveness of TSMC products. Therefore, it is a high probability event that TSMC will be robbed of business by Samsung, and it is only a matter of time before TSMC will be overtaken by the mainland China's chip industry in the future. In addition to economic issues, TSMC cannot maintain a neutral stance as in the past. With the US suppressing China's chip industry to the extreme, TSMC's establishment of a factory in the United States means that it will stop exporting high-end chips to China, which will cause TSMC's annual revenue to plummet by 20%. Moreover, not long after the first batch of Taiwanese laborious airlifted to the United States arrived in the United States, they began to post online to complain their situation in the USA. They said on their posts that although the manpower in the American factory is not enough, the company still treats them differently. The Taiwanese only gave 14 days of buffer leave, while the local Americans still have 21 days of buffer leave. But none of these can stop the United States from hollowing out TSMC. So, why did TSMC agree to relocate? In a word, U.S. companies rely on TSMC's chip products, and TSMC also needs U.S. patented technology and technology markets. In 2021, eight of TSMC's top 10 customers are American companies, and they account for as much as 44% of TSMC's revenue. Once these companies stop buying TSMC's products, it means that TSMC will lose half of its business. In addition, TSMC is also heavily dependent on the United States in terms of technology. Chips are a product of global division of labor and collaboration. Among the top five semiconductor equipment companies in the world, three are American. The product lines of these three companies almost cover the entire chip processing process. In addition, the lithography machine company ASML we are familiar with, in order to obtain the ultraviolet light source technology developed by American companies, ASML not only promised to purchase a certain proportion of parts from the United States, but also accepted regular reviews by American companies. Therefore, although TSMC's chip manufacturing share accounts for 56% of the world, they have little say in the entire chip industry chain. Although its processing technology is superb, it cannot avoid countless U.S. patents. As long as the Americans set a threshold for the use of patents, TSMC will basically no longer be able to operate. Moreover, TSMC's largest shareholder is Citigroup of the United States, which accounts for more than 20% of the shares, and the overall proportion of American capital exceeds 70%. In any case, the move of TSMC has become a fact. It is foreseeable that the efficiency and yield rate of American factories will not be very good. What is your opinion? Well, thanks for listening. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.